Hey everybody, welcome back to Sunbreak. Hope you're having an awesome day. My name is Guy, and today I've been looking through these anomaly investigations and I really want to do this. I want to see how far we can get. Um, Apex Azeros, quite possibly the most difficult Apex for me. Um, and an Afflicted Angineth and a Somnacanth with only two fence. If we are able to do this, we might get some good uh, levels up, but I don't know. Should I risk it? Because we could always go for something like this, uh, Garangom and a Shogun. Uh, we do need a lot of Afflicted Fangs, but I'm really tempted by this, especially since it's, um, it's part of the request as well. Let's see. Yeah, so it expires after one quest, so if we're able to do this, we'll be able to to get that out. It should be awesome. I don't know what it is about these really difficult looking quests, as well as the Magnum Mallow in the previous one, but I've just been feeling kind of risky, and I've been liking the challenge recently. So I don't know if I should go for a booster, because there's three monsters, if I do go for a boost, I have to go for the most difficult one first, which would be the Apex Azeros, I think. Because I, I know I do want Medic. We're going out with the Switch Axe. Uh, blast Switch Axe. Fire Resistance might be good. Fighter is always good, so we can stay aggressive. Just looking through what, what exactly would I want. I don't think I would want any of those. I think I'm gonna have to go for, for Moxie since we only have two fence. So let's go for that usual one. Play it safe this time. Because if we fail this, then um, the um, request is gonna switch up to something else. So I really wanna be able to do this on the first try. I uh, just need to make sure that my Palamute has the Diversion Scroll, so I think I should do that now. I switched their weapons over to sleep. I don't think Afflicted Monsters can sleep. Um, can Apex Azeros even sleep? Maybe I should switch to something else. Because they were using poison. I have blast. That might help. But I do have blast on my weapon. Um, let's try that out actually. Let's see how much more blast we can get. So maybe we'll get quite a few more blast procs. Let's go. these as well. I think I'm gonna go after the Somnican first. That way. Um, it'll give me enough time during the fight and in between to be collecting spurbots for the other two.
How do I get down to her? What am I missing here? I think it's down this way. Like to the left. So this is the blood orange bishopin weapon, but of course with the layered Nagakuga. She's gonna pull out. Okay, no. I thought she was gonna pull out her flash clam. Got you. Oh. Nope, I'm not. I'm not going over there. Got some dream powder. Come on. Oh shit. What are you doing? Yep, that's a flash. How dare you just leave? Is that all the damage I took this entire time? This weapon looks so good. But I never got a chance to use the actual one because it needs those rare Nagakuga items, materials, whatever it's called. Ah, damn. Not good to be near this little fountain. Because sometimes it's hard to tell how close you are to it. Damn it. I was too early on that. Oh! 
I forget sometimes that there's tracking. <laughs> Got you on your head. While I'm away, I can just quickly reload. Come on. I'm surprised at how much of health this this thing has. Nah, she's gone. I'm gonna get her. Too close. No, I think that was fine actually. Really had a lot of health. That was unexpected. But the real challenge starts now. Um, and our health is looking good, I think. Maybe we can get a little bit more on the way. How do I get that? <laughs> uh, did I go the wrong way? I think I did. It's fine, we can just get up here. Oh, they're both here. Wow. Okay, since you're just coming to this side. Damn, it's big. And the wind. Never. I 
evaded into it. <laughs> what a mess. Come on. I thought I was in axe mode. Almost had that one. It is so hard to hit this guy. Let's go. I didn't even see him flash. What I'm learning about this is that I really suck at telling when those things are gonna happen. Keep on getting caught by the wind. How did I miss that? God, he's so awesome. <laughs> nope. Oh. I was able to get under. So, getting hit by the wind. Really difficult to hit them when when they're this big. Okay, he's leaving. Oh, caught in a trap. Nice. Come on. Usually, when they get caught in a trap or get pulled back or something, they stay in the arena. At least the, the one or two times that I've had it happen to me. I don't believe I outright missed my Thunder Beetle. Right here, I might as well. Might as well get that. Um, go after a decoy. Nope. <laughs> Are you serious? I was just slightly um, outside of the area. That should have latched on. That was...
There we go. I mean, the back, you don't get a lot of damage out of it, but it's a lot safer than latching on elsewhere. Second, second part got me. Mm, I'm gonna pop a few of these. That didn't work out so well. really is hard to judge distance okay so he flashed i was able to pick it up this time it's really hard to judge distance when uh when they're so big this is gonna be good Try and get damage on both of them. There's no way. I don't know why that took so long. Oh wow, I actually got it. I feel really bad for him when he's on the ground like this. Don't you try that with me. Got you again. Oh no. What have I done? Okay, I was saved. I don't mind latching onto this monster so much because he just he has a lot of safety when you latch onto him and you get to the back because not a lot of his attacks affect that area.
No. Yeah, you deserve that. For making me miss. <laughs> I can get charged up again here. No, I missed that attack that charges. That is a dangerous attack that he doesn't do too often. Make a safe area here and uh, let him explode. So it does do three. Damn it. Uh, I guess it happens. He's healing me. Just wanted to be safe and get a heal. Because I know I can get uh, help by hitting him. It's not a good place to fight. Oh no! What? He didn't even flash that time. As far as I could... As far as I could see, that, that rock throw was... Was cheap, man. <laughs> This is an incredibly fun afflicted monster because his heightened aggression is so cool. Get up here. I wonder if he's gone to sleep. Because he's completely still at the moment. Yeah, he's asleep. I see you're going for one more round. I mean, I got caught on his leg. 
No more healing. Have the other potions, but... That is so stupid. My attack pushed me into... the damage. That didn't even hit me. It's weird. Finally down. So just one more. How much of time do we have? 22 minutes. God damn it. Get out of the way. No. I can't see them because they're inside of the cops. How are my attacks going through them too? Oh damn. Annoying little guys. I hope I'm gonna have enough time. I know the afflicted monsters usually have more health, so that was, I think, the longest one done. Oh, I forgot you could roll. How is wind such a big factor in this in this hunt? Oh, damn it. How did that even hit me? Got you down. Big ugly bear. No. Yeah, I remember that attack can basically kill you. I hate this monster.
What? He normally only does that when you get hit by the tremor. Five attacks? That's so odd. Big ugly bear. not going too far. I wonder if I can just put him to sleep. Huh? Like the range of that attack just makes no sense. Um, all of his attacks, the range doesn't make any sense. That's why I say he's the most difficult out of all of the apexes. Yep. Again, makes absolutely no sense. At least he goes down easy. That's one good thing. Are you going to jump? No. Go after the blowfish. How did I survive that? I had no idea it was coming. Oh wow, he has like no help. I thought that was gonna take a lot longer. I wonder why. It seemed like he had... Okay, so there was a woven ride where we used the afflicted Azeros, uh, afflicted Anjanath, but... Even still, it felt like he had around the same or even with the with the um woven ride, I would say that he had like the same amount of health as the Somnicanth. Which is odd. I know that they have less during multi monster hunts, but that was way too little. 
I thought that was gonna take a lot longer. We did it. Happy little ghost. So regular Anjana stuff. Afflicted scale plus. Large beast gem. Quite a few coins actually. There's definitely more coins than we've been getting with other ones. Interesting. I looked a lot with that. I don't think that we've... Uh, no, we did have Geratidus, but not in investigation, so that at least uh, clears it out from the quest side of things so that we can just jump into an investigation if we need to. Possible feints, other adjustments, points earned. I don't know if 1,900 is a lot. Um, what I actually forgot to do, I realized while we were out there, is look at Lucin Nagakuga. And as expected, it looks really good. Uh, handicraft at 5. I've been liking Handicraft a lot. Ammo up, yeah, whatever. Agitator is always good because it seems like now when the monster is uh, enraged, that's when the fight picks up. And they get enraged a lot more these days. Pieces damage to large monsters when hit from behind. That's really interesting. 20% from the back. So that would work really well in tandem with diversion scrolls on the Palamutes. As well as uh, decoys on the Palicos. Pieces the damage of critical hits, yeah. Uh, adrenaline rush perform a perfectly timed evade just as the monster attacks for a temporary attack boost ah that is nice so that plus the blade scale hone with evade window is like insanity so i wonder um if i want to max out my quick switch we can definitely do that. This is a really good set. Like you can, you, it can be used for a lot of weapons. But I'm just thinking for like um, for what I'm doing. Yep, that is really good. Let's see over here. Poison. So it removes the affinity and adds. The, the original one has a poison file, but not poison inherent in the weapon. So this turns it into a power file with poison in the weapon, better sharpness, better attack. No affinity, but better slots. And that's a lot more attack, too. The increase in attack with affinity is what, like 25 or 30 percent, or what is it, 15 percent, or something. It's not. It won't. Um, uh, yeah, okay, so with the affinity, I would say the raw damage matches, kind of matches, what that affinity would do anyway. And then you just get poison inherent in the weapon as well but of course with this you can you can do other things with the affinity 
If I'm understanding it correctly, if you want to go for affinity, this would be the way to go. But without doing any other skills with affinity to this weapon, this one would be around the same base attack anyway. That's cool. The, the charge blade I hear is always good, so... Same thing. A lot of a lot of attack. Impact file though, so that's good. 340 attack. This one is still gonna be better if you wanna go poison anyway. But those are really cool weapons and the set is really good. So in the future it looks like I'm gonna want to be hunting Lucent Nagakuga again. Okay, so now this is one of the requests. I need Mizasuna weapons. I also need... I mean, I need the Mizasuna mantle or whatever, as well as the Almadron one. So one of these two might be good to do now. Might as well do this because it's on the request board. I wonder which one is better. Faint two times at 51. Oh no, this is also 51, so this one is better. What else did I unlock? Uh, Rachna and Almadron, so I'll remove that. Things are getting messy here, yeah, so I can remove that. It's gonna get tough to keep track of everything going on. So, what do I need? Magmadron mantle, Mizutsune mantle. Let's do the Mizutsune one. Mm, both of these guys are water. But does Geratidus have any dangerous water attacks? I'm just trying to think about it. He doesn't really. But let's just do it anyway. Because it's about uh, Mizutsune. Um, his water attacks are really, really dangerous. Let's go straight up. Let's see how lucky we can get with this mantle and have it drop right now after fighting it once. But uh, I don't know if we're gonna get that lucky again. We got really lucky like that for the All Mother. Please don't attack me. <laughs> oh. So I have to wait until he lifts his arm up. Yes, must. Mm. I 
should upgrade my armor. That's it. Lift the arm up and then evade. Shit, the bubble. <laughs> the bubble blight. You can roll this away, right? Damn, rolling it away is like really, really difficult. I was trying to get a way to use a cleanser, but it didn't really work. Oh my god. Wow, I almost died just trying to pause that, so uh, I had to take a call real quick that I was waiting for. It means it's only I was just not having it. Oh, shit. I was getting healed. That's good. Why is he going over there? I completely forgot how to fight this guy. Oh, nice. The damage he's doing is a bit worrying. I'm not, I'm not turning fast enough. Just out of reach. Please leave. Yes, got you. Um, I think armor skins are gonna become mandatory until I upgrade my armor here. So I might just go back after this and do a few upgrades. I don't want to over upgrade it because I do have upgrades uh, available up to level 20. But I know that those have been added with title updates, so I don't want to trivialize things so much. Not that it adds a lot of defense. I think right now it's at level 10. Oh no, no, 8. So I think I'll bring it up to level 10. But, um... I don't think I need the demon drug, though. But I might as well. I've been collecting a lot of might seeds and, and stuff, so it's fine. Dude, dude, no! What? The wall run is so annoying, but switching it off caused more harm than it did good.
Wait, what? What hit me there? Shit! I mean, there was nothing I could do at that point. Wow. Shouldn't have looked away. Um, that was a complete waste of my armor skin. I'm not gonna go and collect more. Seems like I'm getting two shot no matter what. So I might as well, um, not waste those. I'll be upgrading my armor soon anyway, so that's fine. Why am I just out of reach like this? So weird. It feels like I'm in the hitbox, but I was definitely outside of that hitbox. Okay, that one's fair. I mean, if you're just gonna stand there. Do I even have a cleanse on me? That is just dumb. Come out here. I need space to fight this guy. This is one of those cases where the uh, where the regular version is harder than the Apex. Away from the wall, please. You have to be close to dying, man. <laughs> you have to be. Oh. This brings me back 
to the first time I fought him, which was on this map as well. And I just had no idea what I was doing. fight each other oh you're down that's weird this is a big fish Let's go. Damn. That attack is so good. I spent so long trying to figure out the best attack with the Mizutsuna and that's the one. And we go straight into the second battle. Damn it. Okay, good. That's actually good. Gives me time to carve. I need this mantle to happen at the end of this. Now that's a roll that I don't think I'm going to get very easily. Absolutely useless. I can see that he's trying to box me in. I can't remember if I fought a an afflicted version of this guy. I think I did. I recall it being really difficult <laughs> for some reason. Oh damn, just random pools of mud. Oh shit! <laughs> I didn't think that I was going to be able to get out of the combo that I started.
Oh, it is me too. That's not what I wanted to do. If he comes and kills me right now, that would be not the best thing. Let's just heal it instead of trying to trying to use the blood blood. He didn't get down though. That's not even fair, man. Yeah, he does his shoulder bash. That didn't even touch me. God damn it. Should have probably hit him while he was doing that. I do not think that that the tip of his tail should even be a hitbox for that shoulder bash. But I get why they, they need it to be. Otherwise it'll be way too underwhelming of an attack. Ha! Don't get me. Oh no! Oh shit! This guy is really tricky. He was really underwhelming in HR. But his MR version is quite tricky. Oh no. He should be exploding soon. Ah, so it depends on the level of the monster, probably. How many of those uh, twisting rings come out. Because Anjanath had three. He had basically like one and a half. So 
So I wasn't I wasn't completely making things up when I saw Magnum Allo's one. That attack is so annoying. It has way too much of a range for what it is. But if I'm on this side, then it's fine. I mean, just immediately goes back into the water. Fighting him on land is not too bad. Oh, that hit him, but it didn't activate. Didn't register. Heal me, buddy, but I'm gonna heal myself anyway by slamming all of these attacks on him. I have way too much health. I'll take the damage as long as I get mine. God damn it. It's not going too far though. Damn fish with legs. Not a bad battle at all, though. Mechanics are really cool. It's not it's not easy to deal with like this 
Oh shit, man. You have to really think about where you are. Like, look at him trying to box me in. Oh no! <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> oh. I really do suck at. at. Damn! I suck at timing those and keeping an eye out the way. Okay, you're being really annoying right now. I was just complimenting you. And now you're doing just annoying things. I'm just not getting a chance to even attack this guy. Very good. When it does happen, I can do some insane damage. Shit. Oh. Got saved. Come on. He is low. Finally. Nope. <laughs> nope. I'm getting hit. There's the flash. Nice. I was hoping we would get um would get those calls down before he explodes. The whole anomaly thing, the um afflicted rules add so much to each of these monsters like this was just so fun. Uh, whereas when when fighting him regularly, I'm, I'm normally just like, yeah, okay, just whatever. But just the heightened aggression and everything is just so, just makes everything so different, so fresh. Let's see what we get. I think them having blast was a really good idea. Water orb, no mantle. Damn it, our luck was not was not up there. It is a very rare item though. So we got some a few carapaces. Honestly, all of the anomaly materials are good enough. Almatron, Rara. Okay, so nothing new. Oh, 
Prime Amber Essence. I have two. When did I get two? <laughs> Uh, that's cool. Outfit vouchers plus is 50. 150. I'm better off just trying to kill the damn thing. I have a mantle for basically everything else except the ones that I need. Like, look at that. Just all of the mantles I have. I uh, don't need an Almadron, I need a Magma. Magmadron, I have that one as well. I have every single one except the one I need. Just the way it works, I guess. So, either way, thanks so much for stopping by. This was incredibly fun. Um, I'm really enjoying the whole anomaly investigation thing and it looks like we're almost at 50. Um, I'm not sure but maybe I'm so close I might as well just go and when I when I have a few minutes I'll probably just go and do a, a quick hunt and um, come back at level at, at level 50 and do the next urgent in the next episode I don't know what it is so um, I'm really excited to see uh, actually what it is because we've had Wind Serpent Ibushi at 20 and Thunder Serpent now at 30 so 50 might be Velstrax uh, if it is then that'll be incredible for the switch axe because that could be a really good dragon one to to look into but either way let's see what it is and we'll be back with the next urgent maybe I'll still decide, but we'll see. Uh, thanks so much for stopping by. This was really fun. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.